Hey YouTube, Rory Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming today with an unboxing of the Ford Bronco half cab with dune buggy and trailer. This is a three in one model kit. You get the trailer kit, the truck kit, as well as the buggy kit. We uh, move the box around here. We'll see all three models here. What's interesting about this model is early on in my channel I uh, actually took a regular Bronco kit, this one here and had taken it from a long roof and converted it to a half roof and what I'm what I did here was uh, the chassis will be the same I had gone ahead and made box ribs on the floor because this would have been carpeted built the back wall uh, used the back window to make the rear window I opted to put frames in here uh, instead of the glass because I want the side windows to be open and just I'm going to just do the vent windows. The in-depth video on, on this build is on my channel. Um, taking the Bronco, converting it to a half roof. But um, anyway, Lavelle did it, so here it is. It's now available as a half roof, uh, so you don't have to do that conversion that I had done. So let's cut into this box and see what uh, what we got inside. Now this doesn't come wrapped, it comes with round sticker dots sealing the box. Okay, let's open it up and see what's inside here. Very good. So we got inside the box, let's go through it. Okay, so first off here we have the buggy body, which is, uh, so far what I can tell, this is based on a Volkswagen driveline. This has a sort of a tubular body that has a cover over top. Here's the chassis side of it. it has the rear suspension and transmission molded in already on that. We got our front suspension here. Steering wheel and uh, looks like maybe a filler tube. Uh, fuel tank and engine detail and crash bar here So that's the one tree. We'll flip that over you can see the other side of it next up. We have are the wheels The wheels are in plastic with the rims molded in This is something that a guy could upgrade if you wanted to or just use those Got the top half of that Volkswagen engine here uh, another piece here, a seat with some uh, seat belt detail molded in. Looks like some exhaust tips and some shocks. Set of fog lights. We'll flip that over and see the other side. This would be really neat to actually upgrade the engine to something with a lot more detail. And then we have the trailer here. And this is basically a small utility trailer. It's not something that's big enough to put a full size car on it, but it does work for the buggy. There's uh, ramps that go on here, and you got the leaf spring suspension here. These are the ramps that allow the car to go on and off, and then it's got a set of smaller trailer wheels with plastic tires there. Okay, a little trailer hitch, trailer ball. Another, looks like another style of trailer hitch. There's the one side there. There's the other side. There's a, probably a chance that this is out of an older release Ravel. I don't know, so maybe somebody can comment on that. There's everything for the, the Bronco kit inside this bag. Okay, first stuff we'll dig into the body bag here. There's more than just the body in there. So here's the body. Um, this one has a slight twist in it, but I'm sure once you start working with it you can straighten it out. Or put it in some boiling water and give it a twist. Uh, it's the same body that comes, uh, well I shouldn't say all three bron Bronco releases because the other one has the full opening wheel well. Okay. Has good detail under the hood. Uh, the battery is molded in. It does have the windshield washer jug uh, molded in. The early Broncos had like a bladder bag, so that's what I did on my other one. Um, and you got a jack detail and some other pieces. Uh, some heater detail here. You got corner markers on this one and the word Ford in the tailgate here and then you have also a couple of fuel fillers because this has dual fuel tanks in this version and actually all of the the kits that they release do there's the body there 
Then we have the half roof here, which comes with the half cab roof all uh, put together here already in one piece. This is the back wall uh, with a little more detail than the one I built. It has the rivets and some indentations, which is kind of nice. It does also have the spare tire holder bolted in. Then they provide a floor here with, uh, looks like these are for the filler, fuel filler detail uh, to be able to go down to the fuel tanks. So there's the top and then there's the bottom. And we have more plastic here in another bag. All right, here we have the uh, hood. It has open, you can see the grill, you can see stuff behind it, so it's uh, totally open molded for the hood vents there. There's the back side of that. Uh, we got the um, gas pedal brake and clutch. We've got some seat backs here. This is the windshield frame, holds the windshield, and then we have our interior paneling. So the rear paneling is here and door paneling is here. That's the whole setup there. And then there's the back side of it. As you can see, the hood doesn't have any indication for cutouts, but why would there be? You don't need that. And we have the chassis here, molded. It's got everything molded in as far as both fuel tanks and all the supports for the body and where the suspension goes. We have a distributor and looks like an oil filter, some leaf springs. This is a track bar for the, I think, front axle or rear. I'm not sure, I can't remember. These look like engine mounts. Trailer hitch comes with here. A couple of uh, brackets for the rear spare tire if you want to mount it onto the body. Um, a skid plate here that basically holds the transfer case or protects the transfer case. We've got a steering box and steering column, a license plate holder, and an exhaust system here. We'll flip that over. Okay. On this tree we have the, uh, looks like a 289 a V8 with a uh, manual transmission gearbox. We got the drive shaft here, some steering and shock componentry, uh, oil pan, there's a spare tire with a cover on it here, a radiator, another drive shaft for the front. We got differential covers here, radiator support. This is the sort of the hanger for the spare tire that can go on the back. We got both halves of the transfer case and uh, the front suspension for twin I beam. Well, actually, this isn't twin I beam, it's four wheel drive, so it has a solid diff, but it has the uh, trailing arms and springs here. We got our steering dampening shock assembly here. We got more shocks here. We have the, um, radi uh, the fan shroud, the fan. Exhaust manifolds, valve covers, cylinder heads, timing cover, and belt, accessory belt detail, which only has an alternator. We have the um, starter and master cylinder here. So that's everything for the Bronco. A lot of parts for the chassis and engine. I'll flip that over. That's the back side there. A full floor pan here. With the interior, as you can see, that would that truck floor would glue into the back here. There's a back wall that emulates the inside of what's on the tailgate, and then there's a seat cushion here. Uh, there's also the rear uh, seat. This is a dashboard with a lot of detail on it, except the uh, gauge is probably a, a decal or decal, so there's no actual uh, imprinted uh, you know, numbers on there to paint. Also have here the steering wheel and steering column and a roll bar. So there's the inside of that interior tub, there's the bottom side. There's a set of shallow uh, front bucket seats here. Another seat cushion here for the back. And then a couple of pieces for roll bar, as well as some side, these I think for the rear seat here. And on the back it just looks like that there. Some more uh, plastic pieces here. So here on this tree we have a front and rear differential here. You put your covers on, of course, you saw the other tree there. 
Then you have some uh, drum brake detail for all four corners and an upper and lower radiator hose. We have these beautiful stock steel Bronco wheels here with an intake manifold for a single, maybe a single four barrel or two barrel. And there, yeah, there's a two barrel carburetor holly with uh, the air cleaner assembly. That's what the back side looks like there. Okay, here's a chrome tree here, um, beautifully open, open grill. You can see through it, which is nice. It's got the word Ford in the middle here. We got a mirror, a couple of uh, bumpers, rear view mirror alternator with bracketing. There's the rear view mirror stem, a couple of corner markers here, door handles, tail lights. Have here uh, another piece of trim for a handle. We got a couple of caps here. These are the front hub caps, which have the hole for the 4x4 four four, uh, stuff there. And then these are rear hub caps for those original Bronco wheels. So that's everything you get on the chrome tree. On my other one, I actually dechromed it because I'm going to paint the bumpers and the grill all white. There's the back side here. Here we have windows. Everything is flat on this on this truck. Um, there's a couple of windows that won't be needed because they're um, for the long roof style, but uh, and side windows here. So you just need these two side glasses and the rear window for the rear window of the truck. Not much to see on the other side. Got a couple of headlights and some uh, corner markers as well. Very clear. There's no distortion. Obviously, it's it's all flat. So nice clear windows. I probably made a mistake saying that the rear window is on there because it looks like there's probably the correct rear window here uh, separately given to you for the half roof. Tires, Bronco tires. And these are specially made for this kit to fit the wheels. We have four little uh, pins here that are for holding the wheels on. I'll leave that in a little bag here. We got four of these mud bogging style uh, tires. They look really nice on the kit. Uh, also, these are a directional tire, uh, so they're designed to go in one way. They're a little bit hollow, so they're kind of flexible. You can get them over the over the wheels, but they hold the, they hold their shape. You get four of them here. Uh, an upgraded set of water slides here. These ones are, they include all the, the decals or decals for the Ford Bronco. And then everything from here down is for the sand rail that they provide there for you. So, gives you lots of options. So nice looking water slides here. And they work. I mean, Ravel, they seem to work really nice. They go on nice. You won't have any problem with those there. So, there's that speedometer gauge cluster we talked about there. Nothing uh, nothing molded in, so you'd have to use that. Okay, there you go. Last but not least, we got the instruction manual, which includes all three kits. Um, like the truck. And the, and the buggy. So that's all truck still, still truck. So then we go on the, the, the instructions for the trailer. And the buggy are also in the same book. There's some uh, how to put the decals on there on the buggy. It's the only way you can get the half cab is to buy the three in one kit. If you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Please like, share, comment, as I love reading the comments. Thanks for watching as always, have yourself a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.